Tony, it almost seemed like a game where Reese decided he was not going to let the team lose. What what can you say about his performance, particularly late? Yeah, I joked with him. I said I should have sprinted and gotten the game ball for him um, and given it to him. I don't know where it went. So, uh, but Reese didn't seem too uh, concerned about that. So, uh, but no, I, I thought Reese was terrific. He um, he made the plays. He, you know, I tell you, he started picking up the ball and his defensive on ball pressure was there. But then he's you know down the stretch a couple of the buckets he made, the pass he made to Ryan, and touching the paint and um, getting after it. And I thought we, we upped the ante defensively. And, and again, Northeastern, I knew that watching them. Uh, Bill does a great job with them as a coach. I think he's been there 18 <coughs> years. And, and how they run their stuff and how they use Doherty kind of as like a, you know, a, a center, but a point center that kind of backs down and good stuff um, was good. And you know, we went to trap the post early because we weren't sure if we could guard them. And boy, they just they had that floor space. Boom, made a couple threes. And we were unsound defensively um, for stretches of the first half and then a little bit in the second half. But but that was our only chances to toughen up. And then someone needed to make some plays. And um, you know, we looked. Um, they did a good job on both ends. Good team, well coached, of course. And um, we just got to keep improving. Tony, you got a, a pretty nice contribution off the bench from Gertrude and Bond. How important were those minutes tonight, and how important will they be going forward? Yeah, we needed it. You know, um, Andrew Rohde, we, we sat him for nine days to rest his uh, – he had a little issue with a foot uh, that he's been battling, so we rested him, and he looked rusty. He didn't, you know, even on ball defensively and some of those things. Um, and so um, – and actually, Elijah was out for a little bit too. He had a, a clear uh, – protocol, um, but then I thought the lift that Elijah gave us, you saw a burst of his athleticism, and Leon uh, was important. They guarded IMAC a little harder. They tagged. They made it physical. I didn't think we were um, accepting the challenge of how physical we needed to be on offense, setting cuts up and good hard screens. We kind of stood, and um, you know, it, it, at this time of year against better competition, it doesn't come easy. You've got to have that mindset. So the lifts from Leon, to get back to your question, and Elijah were, were good for us um, in, in many ways. And you know, even though Tane gave us a few minutes in there and Blake, um, we, we needed that. We just needed to get ourselves right and he brought some physicality. Yeah, kind of going off of that, this is the first one of the season where you guys were trailing at the half and then even after the half, they scored the first, I think, seven points. What kind of allowed you guys to get back into it after that? Tougher defense and, you know, Reese kind of decided to, you know, he, he took over, made some plays. You know, IMAC banged a three. We just, we made some adjustments um, that I thought got us moving and a little more physical offensively, and then we just tried to make it tough. We, I think Jake Rose did a really good job on individual defense guarding Doherty, and then we put Ryan on him a little bit, and he did a good job, and he spun off of it. But we just decided to, you know, stay at home on some of the other guys and make him make some plays. and. Um, because they hurt us with that trap. And, and so I thought that helped us too when they were playing through them to just stand in there. And you know, it's just that game. I mean, they had that game, you know, we had it for a stretch and um, it was just one of those um, kind of smash mouth games that you had a last man standing and plays had to be made. What is the value of finding a way to win tonight when things did not come easily and you did not play your best? Yeah, I thought that was important because you know, um, the last few games, well, not Texas A&M, but after that, we've had a nice lead, and it was a little, you know, I, I don't know what the right word is, but it was just there was some separation. You kind of could play and a little more easy, and this was hard. We had a every possession mattered defensively and offensively. There was legitimate game pressure. Guys had to step up. When a mistake was made, you felt it. You knew they were a play away from, you know, opening the thing up, and so. Um, I just think there's incredible value in that. And we haven't had a game like that against Wisconsin. They just separated from us, cut it to five. I remember in that game, they separated. Um, we had a situation in our, our scrimmage, um, but that, that's a long time ago, but where we were kind of got our doors blown off early and then fought to get back. But you need that. And so, um, again, thankful for it. The film will reveal some things, and uh, we just kind of keep moving forward and um, play, obviously, a, an excellent team next up. In the second half, when you started getting going, it seems like it was a lot of you got two feet in the paint. Was that something that you changed? Was it a mindset change or an emphasis? Yeah, tried to just get some better screens and more movement. Um, 
you know, we've got a few base offenses that you sort of spin the dial and see which ones work. And they did a good job guarding our first uh, offense that, you know, it was, it was okay. Uh, I didn't think we ran it hard in the second half. We just gave some ball screens to Reese at the end, but got a little more movement off the ball screen, played off the screens, and tried to uh, make them chase us. Um, and I thought that help loosen them up a little bit uh, as opposed to going against a set defense all the time or just trying to make one-on-one -on -one plays or balls kind of rely on the ball screen. We did down the stretch, but I thought that helped us. And we did, because of that, touch the paint and made some plays off of that. Okay, we'll take one in the back. Yeah, how much of this slow start do you kind of attribute to maybe just getting the rust off after exams and just having such a long break? Uh, I think we played a good team that's very well coached and tough minded. And uh, I think we, um, we weren't ready the way we needed to be. Um, and that, that showed. So um, again, I didn't go here. I, I don't pretend to, the, the drain is real on them for finals and all that, but we practiced well. I think there was a little rust on guys that had to sit out, um, but um, you know, I, I don't know, maybe I'm too old and too far removed from finals and exams. No, no, when you tip the ball up, you come ready to play. And, and if that almost cost us, not the finals, <laughs> uh, but not being ready. And so, um, you know, we're going to play teams uh, from here on out. It gets harder. And meaning Northwestern was the start of the, Northeastern was the start of that. And uh, yeah, you saw some scores. Um, you saw some teams doing it. And it's easy to look at that. but. Uh, good team is ready to play from the start and you got to play two halves and I didn't think we, we did that. Tony, how, how did the Memphis uh, schedule come about and what is the value not just in playing a team like that but going to their gym? I actually don't really know. I mean I, I know we wanted to go on the road play a high quality team. It's just how you always balance your schedule. You're looking for good opponents um, to play to prepare you and that's what this Northeastern game we knew numbers wise high quality I don't even know if you call them mid-majors, you know, the, these coming from Wisconsin Green Bay, you know, I, that we live for games like that. But we need to play a good, tough team to prepare us. And it is. You know, after finals, you always look at that. But we've played some of our best basketball after finals. Um, and, uh, and then this Memphis game, you know, we just, it was the time and the schedule. And uh, they're playing good ball. And it was, you know, we needed a road game against a, a very talented, good team. And, and that's what we're going to get.